If you're a beginner and trying to do your own beard or you're a student barber, this video is for you. We're gonna do a really sharp scalp beard in this video. You need a clipper, some clipper guards, a trimmer or liner, and a comb. I'm using standard wall guards, so if you have a different type of clipper or one of those two-in-one clippers that's also a trimmer, you might need to pay attention to the millimeters because the numbers are different. Alright guys, I've already washed and dried my beard. I recommend towel drying your beard as much as possible and then using a blow dryer on a low heat and low flow. Otherwise, when you wash it next time, it'll shrink back to a different position. We're gonna start by brushing the beard inside out and then we're gonna always brush it and style it exactly the same way. So you brush it inside out, getting it all forward and then press it down parallel to your face, just like that. Usually a start in the middle from the corner of your jaw to the top of your mustache anything on top of the comb will be cut against the grain it will be part of the fade and anything under it will be cut downwards with the grain we're gonna start with number two guard which is six millimeters and i'm also gonna open the lever on the clipper making it a bit longer so for most medium and long length beard that should be enough you can go number three or four if you want a bulkier beard. So I've already started and made my first guard there. You can double check it and brush it or comb it just to make sure that you got most of the hair there. Using the same guard, we're going to blend it down from the exact same guard line, blending it into the length. Uh, doing this, you do not want to dig too much into your face stay parallel to your face or your jaw i'll also show you from the side angle as well so if you see i'm not really digging in too much into the beard just cutting the surface so i'm just making the surface smoother there you go from the side so idea is not to cut any length just smoothen the surface you can come back and detail it later if you want to. Repeat the same steps on the other side. Now I'm going to take the guard off and close the lever and make my first guard for the fade. So I'm, I use a reference point on my ear. It's not too high so I can blend it up into my hair at the same time. You want some sort of, some sort of reference point so you can match it to the other side. So that's good enough. I'm using a small trimmer or a liner to get that extra clean look in my fade area. You don't have to do this step if you don't want to, but it will make your fade look a lot sharper. Next one is the half guard with the lever closed. If you don't have a half guard, just open the lever and have no guard on. So I'm making the first guard a couple of centimeters under and on top of the previous guard line. Next one is the one guard which is 3 millimeters with the lever open. I'm going to make another 2 centimeter deep guard line just under the last one. With this one you need to use a bit more pressure to blend it a bit nicely. You can use the corners, you can stretch the skin. Doing that will give you a better fade and help you in the next step and require less detail in the end. Now with no guard and lever in the open position. I'm going to start blending the first guard into the second one. So with the open lever, I'm starting to blend it and then I will close it probably halfway and then I'll fully close it in the end. There you go, now the halfway. You can also stretch the skin and use the corners to make it blend better. So whatever is working, you can do that. Now the lever is fully closed and I'm blending the last bits of it. If you use the trimmer before, you might have to use the same trimmer to take out some lines that you might see. The best way to do it is just use the corners so you don't make any new lines. Again, we're going to use the half guard to blend second and the third guard together. So starting with the open position, slowly closing as we go. fully closed at this point just blending it all together 
Same thing again with the one guard this time, with the lever open. We're gonna make the next two areas blend together by closing the lever as we go. Take any bulk out. Most of the fade is done at this point, so this is the detailing part. So the more you work on it, the better your fade will look. This is one and a half guard, 4.8 millimeters. We're gonna start with the lever open, just like the last few steps, and close as we go. So this step is blending the last area of the fade into the dark length area. So we're just gonna take the bulk out, anything that looks visibly out of place. I have that little bulk there, so I'm gonna attack that with the corner. But even, even that is gonna look really nice once it's lined up. So I'm using a one guard to do some detail. You don't really have to do that because my beard is a little patchy. So I'm, I'm just gonna blend those areas a little more. As I said, you can go and repeat any of the steps that you think is gonna help. For the mustache, I'm using one and a half guard with the lever open. I'm going against the grain. But in this step, you can try different things depending on your preference or the thickness of your mustache. You might have to go with the grain if you have really thin mustache or you can close the lever if you have a really thick mustache or even use a shorter guard if you need to. Now I'm gonna use the trimmer to do the lineup. I'm gonna use that corner to make my first cut parallel to my lip and that other corner will be tilted away from my face. Using the same corner I'm gonna cut on top of my lip line. If you want more natural look, you can use a scissor for this part. Now I'm going to match this side to the other side and make another cut parallel to my lip line. And then I'm going to line it just like the other side by using the corner alone, just like that. So make sure the other corner is tilted away from your face, the one that is not engaged. I'm gonna take any hair off that is sticking on top of this comb. You can clean that under the lip area by using the corner. So if you have a lot of hair there, then you might have to approach this step a bit differently than me. So keep that in mind. Holding the trimmer upside down, I'm gonna straighten my mustache line from the top area. For the beard line, you can use a comb that is straight or a ruler scale. I use a reference point of top of my ear and under my lip. And I bring the trimmer upside down so I can see the blade working in real time without obscuring my view. And then you can make your first cut, keep it flat, make sure the comb doesn't move while you do that. I'm gonna use the corner of the trimmer to straighten the side of my mustache there. I don't like rounding it. I like a sharp corner parallel to the beard line. I'm using the corner of the trimmer to detail it further. So I'm just sharpening it a little more. There is nothing really wrong with the line, but I'm just trying to make it sharper. For back of the beard line, we're gonna follow it slightly curving out, not too straight. You can't come straight down or go too much out. I'm gonna stretch the skin from that corner with my left hand using all four fingers and then bring the trimmer over that arm. To make that line, I'm gonna be just pressing it onto the skin, onto that line that I want. So I can double check it, go over it, it looks pretty good. To line up the other side, I'm going to check the reference points on this side and then match it to the other side. It's the same process, using the trimmer upside down without obscuring your view, doing some detailing again. Sharp corner for the mustache again. I'm double checking it, matching it to the other side. You can adjust anything that you don't think is matching with the other side. Again for the back line, we just stretch the skin and press it down on the line that we want to. Now we're gonna do the exterior of the beard and the neck area. For this part you should brush your beard one more time. Starting with the profile, I align the top line with the jawline. Doing that will give you a much harder jawline and make your face look a lot slimmer. So 
So I'm gonna take the clipper and start cutting a parallel line to the top line. If you're not cutting a huge bulk of hair, you can use a liner or a trimmer. So same thing on the other side, follow the same line, starting from the back to front. I mean, realistically, I could use a trimmer or a liner in this case, but I decided to use a clipper. Check if both sides met and then connect the middle by straightening it. Now I'm gonna use the liner trimmer to sharpen these lines. The clipper gave it really nice sculpt shape, but the really sharp lines will come from the liner. You can comb it to double check if you're missing anything. It's looking pretty good, but I'm also gonna use an enhancer in this video. So I'm using a wax based beard pencil. So you wanna wind it about two millimeters, no more. So you can start with the outline, pretty much start the line where you wish your beard line was. And of course I mean that within reason, you can raise it by a couple of millimeters but if you overdo it, it will look ridiculous. So you want to use a soft steady hand and don't rush this part. If you have a thick beard, you probably don't need any enhancers. But if you live in Australia and you want to buy this product, I will leave a link in the description. If you are outside of Australia and you want to buy a product like this, look for something that is wax based. Most of the other products, they look quite unnatural and tacky and people can spot that from a mile that you have used something in your beard and that defeats the whole purpose of using it. All right, so this is the finished beard and hopefully you enjoyed the video or learned something from it. I invite you to go ahead and try it yourself and don't be too harsh on yourself. First few times you might not get it right, but at least I'm looking happy. So I'll see you guys next time.